So at the start of December we were part of the press team at the clothes show and that meant we got to go to the show, got get footage, get interviews and just go, yeah, and go and do like press stuff really. So we attended like all five days and across like the five days that we went there was like several different celebrities, there was loads of stuff going on, there was different music acts, so there was like stereo kicks, Elia Fox, Jetta. Jetta. Can you hear me? Um, there were like a few other like smaller ones as well. There was a girl called Bella Mac and yeah. Luke White and other people like that. But no, all I wanna do is sit back and relax and enjoy the show. I wanna feel your body close to mine as we take a time. Yeah, I'm getting chills up and down my spine. Thinking about what we can do to each other. I'm never gonna call me shaggy. Yeah, I'll be your Mr. Lover. I'm oh, drastic, make you feel elastic as I'm putting you in the positions that I made for a gymnastic, fantastically, bombastically. Three different stages. There's like the main stage. Yeah, so there's, like the fashion theatre show. Uh, the Olympus Pen catwalk um, show, which is just a small stage. And then also what's this one called? the image catwalk. So where there was like question and answers. That was where like more famous people went. Yeah, like Jane uh, Lang from Manchester. Designer catwalk was more just like student work and like performances and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but. So whilst we were there, we got to interview Andy Jordan. That video is already up. So if you want to check it out, we'll put it in the link below. Um, they we interviewed them basically about their clothing line, and so it was like Andy Jordan from Made in Chelsea and his brother Mark Jordan. Yeah, so they do a clothing line yeah, together called Jam Industries. And we're gonna talk now. Um, but yeah, we went to their store pretty much all the time. Like it was always busy, yeah. always getting customers. Andy was there quite a lot of the time as well, and their Clothing line's really nice. It's really nice stuff. Mm. Um, we also saw Alfie from Pointless Blog do a Q&A on stage. Yeah. And we were filming the whole thing. Um, so we've got like clips of that which we'll all put in. Can the YouTube boy bands reunite? What's this about? So basically, a few of us, like myself, Casper, Marcus, Joe and Jim, I don't even know how it began. We were randomly in a hotel room and it was literally like four in the morning and probably Joe or Marcus, probably, no, that's what it was, Marcus and Joe were singing the whole evening, and Marcus can't sing, Joe can sing a little bit, and um, can you sing? No, I definitely can't sing. I'm like, not going to make at you, all. I tried to make Cat, um, Alfie do the catwalk earlier, and then he I made, made you me, do it with me, so I'm not going to ask you to sing, because <laughs> then you'll make me sing, and I can't, I can't, I really can't. Um, yeah, so we stupidly, we made like this video in a hotel where we just put like, 20 or 30 of our like popular songs at the moment on just playing out of the laptop and then we sung along to it um, and they just cut loads of different songs all together and it sounds really awful like the we're not good singers but it's just funny and then we made like a music video for charity did you guys see that do you see that music video yeah that was embarrassing but yeah, he like pointed us out a few times. Yeah, because basically he asked a question asking about if anybody had a YouTube channel. So me being... With like, us two like <laughs> there, like filming it, he kind of gathered that we had a YouTube channel and kind of like... Pointed to us. Pointed us out. Now to aspiring YouTubers. Has anyone got a YouTube channel? Over there. <laughs> So one of the things that was a big highlight for the clothes show in general was the fashion theatre show where they was like seven times a day, yeah, some days. Like loads of different uh, music performances did different shows mm -hmm. and uh, different celebrities and people presented it. So like Rick Edwards did some, I know Jamie did some. Jim Chapman done some. Um, and it was basically just... Like showcasing really, clothes as well as it's not dancing. just like an average yeah it's not just like an average catwalk it's like an actual like performance show mm -hmm. it's like going to a concert there's like dance performances yeah, i think it's amazing and this year like they based it around new york so that was really cool. it was really cool like they did like shots from like the office scene at new york and coney island and it was it was i think it was one of the best shows that they've done so yeah. far <laughs> Look at her, look at her, oh, 
So we recognise some of the faces and I like how they interact with the crowd. Like they don't just walk they, out like, the Yeah, they walk the crowd along and they like walk like Into through the, the crowd as well. Yeah, through the audience and stuff. So it's really cool. So there was quite a lot of brands. Yeah, there were loads. Of, <laughs> obviously, there were loads of brands at um, Close Show. They on the Tuesday they always do like really discounted prices mm -hmm. and everything. So, um, Rimmel throughout the, like the whole five days were doing a goodie bag, which was like worth like forty quid or so. Something like that. And they that. did it for like a tenner, and then on the last day it went down to a fiver, and other stuff like that. Like they always do amazing deals. Um, but brands like Barry M and Model Zone and Bare Minerals, like they are, I think they're of, the big yeah, stands makeup, there. Makeup, nail varnish. There's mm. not so much like big clothing brands. No. It's just a lot of like quite independent businesses and to showcase their clothes off, which I think in a way is better than yeah. like say Topshop having a stand. As much as I love Topshop, I think having the independent brands because then you, you find won't stuff, be able to yeah. get them anywhere else. Yeah, you find stuff which no one else will have, mm. and also like. I don't think if Topshop did it, they'd like discount all their stuff and do no. like really cheap. It would just be like normal Topshop. It's very, you it's can very go to unique anytime, as yeah. well. But I think the makeup stands in general, they were always so busy. Yeah. Like you, sometimes you couldn't get to actually the makeup because it was so rammed. But we managed to get some good discounts. Good and deals. if you want to see some of the stuff we've bought that we've kind of just talked about, mm -hmm. um, we'll link the haul that down below, and you can see some of what we got. So a lot of celebrities are always at um, Closure Live. A lot of it always concentrates on like Made in Chelsea and the only way is Essex and people from that. I think uh, this year there this was year they so went, like, many. Really, there were so many celebrities. Like, every um, time you walked around, you would you were bound to spot and they a celebrity. Were always like linking it with their own uh, like products that they've got out. So obviously, mm -hmm. Andy from Made in Chelsea we've talked about his clothing line, Jam Industries. There's Jamie who had his candy kit and stuff. Binky, yeah. who's recently brought out like a makeup and nail varnish. Um, range that she was there for. <laughs> Charlotte from Geordie Shaw was also there like like promoting her fashion line as well as Lauren Pope. Yeah. So there was just so many and there was and calendar was like, signings yeah. as well. Peter Andre was there, like Flair de Force we met. Who was um, lovely. And then there's like Lauren Goodger has like her hair stuff and fake tan or whatever yeah. she has. Um, so there was just so many people, not just to be there but just to promote their products and then there was Alfie, as we said previously, and Jim they were Chapman. seeing meet and greets like mm. the whole cast from Made in Chelsea with them. Uh, it was like Proudlock, Stevie, Andy, Spencer, Jamie, Binky, Millie, Millie. So quite a lot of quite a quite lot, lot of people. Cast. And then only way is Essex. I know Amy Charles was there. Uh, Tom Pierce, Dan Osborne, Joey Essex, James Lockett, Lauren Bridget, uh, Lauren so Hope. just so many, and Jasmine. Yeah. So literally, I feel like this year as well, a lot of people didn't go for the clothes. They went 
to the celebrities because everywhere you went and you saw a celebrity you'd see a group of people following them around which I think is good for them yeah. but not so good for the crowd because it was absolutely rammed and like Alfie every time he was walking around you could just you, got mobbed you got mobbed every time but overall I think it was such a good experience yeah it was really good fun so that was us talking about our closure experience this year if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will link the haul and Andy Jordan interview in the down thanks for watching bye, bye.